One of the coolest things about AI in 2025 is how fast you can bring your idea into action and into something tangible. Let's talk about it. Okay, so there are many conversations going around about AI. One school of thought is that the whole AI thing is a bubble that will bust. The other discussion is about the usefulness of everything that's being built. In that same discussion, there's the argument that AI is actually destroying humanity and that the process of building it and using it is actually destroying the environment and leading us into an uncertain future. The thing about all these discussions is that they're all true in different measures. However, like I said in the introduction, in 2025, we've seen a huge leap in what AI can do. And by AI, I mean the current generative AI built from large language models that's being pushed, talked about, and used in this day and age. One of the biggest positive leaps of AI, personally, is access to information. As a generally curious person, one of the best things about AI is getting information around different topics, summaries around different papers, research into many different categories of things in very few steps. If you want to read a lot of stuff, if you want to research on a topic, getting your sources of information, getting topics to read about, getting different schools of thought is much easier and much faster. One of the things about technology is that when it arrives and people start using it, going back to the past is almost impossible. So embracing AI, talking about it and helping build it to be better is the only course of action that works right now. Talking about not using it, not accessing it and such like discussions, I believe are futile. We're seeing AI being used by students. Google is pushing Gemini for students. So if you're questioning yourself on the use cases of AI and the importance of AI, it is good to have concern. It is good to have questions. It is good to fight against irresponsible use of these tools. It is good to have guardrails on what AI can touch, what AI can AI can do. I think in 2026, that will be the main discussion around AI because we are at a pivotal point in human history in terms of what the future looks like for us as a species. What can't be denied though is that AI has really changed a lot of stuff. Getting your idea out is much easier right now. For example, with Google's anti-gravity, I was able to build a platform in less than two days that works with a full front panel and a dashboard and everything connects and works. And it was just an idea that was worked up in two days with normal language. I believe if AI is to shape the future of humanity, then all of humanity should partake in the discussions around building it. Everyone should get to understand what AI is, what AI can do, what they can trust from the internet, what they can't, how to verify information, what sources to believe, and all that. I've had a long discussion on AI with Brian Kimani on his YouTube channel. It is a discussion had while driving around Nairobi National Park. So if this discussion is something you want to listen to or contribute to, check out that YouTube video on his channel.